She came here as a student and for over 40 years living here and doing business here, she has a story. A story worth listening to if you want to understand how America works. In Atlanta's downtown, in this busy shopping area along Lee Street Southwest, you will not get lost if you are looking for Afrocentric network. This is a one-stop center for African products including clothing for women, men and children, fabric, art, instruments, skincare products, as well as jewelry. The owner is a daring Kenyan entrepreneur, Margaret Mugura Andega. We have a busy season, mostly summertime, because of the type of things we do. Mm. But honestly, you have to understand what product are you selling to whom? Mm. Are you selling mm. chicken feed? Once you understand that, then it's easier to move along. Mm. Very well, right now, 90% of my clientele is African-American. Mm. Of course, other people come in too. I have a lot of mm. people, Hispanics. Mm. Mm. Other and groups of people, white people, they come in. Yeah, I can show you around. Everybody's familiar with this. Mm -hmm. This is a little Kenya bag. We, we bring it. Made in Kenya. Made in the Kenya. Kiondo family. Kiondo family. Yes, yes. yes. that's a Kiondo family. Mm -hmm. This is Mali. Mm -hmm. Mali do some of some of the most beautiful mm -hmm. leather works. This is Ghana. Ghana. And this is Burkina. Burkina Faso. The Burkina Faso. <laughs> the whole of Africa. Ghana. Is yes, here. the whole of Africa is here. I can honestly say that when it comes to Ghana. They take the fashion industry seriously. We don't. We don't. So when you find a talent in fashion coming out of Kenya, it's hardly promoted. Literally, there are women I spend over $100,000, many of them in Ghana, who supply to me. That's, that, that's a good income for a typical designer. And not only that, even when I go there, I meet so many people coming in from Kenya. How many suppliers do you have from Kenya, roughly? Design, I have about three jewelry designers mm -hmm. and I have about two fashion designers. The size of my store, I can honestly say Kenya probably occupies maybe mm. not even a twentieth of a percentage. Mm. Yeah. Yes, you see, Kisi. yeah, this is from Kisi, a familiar stone from Kisi. But look at these, yeah. these, these glasses carved in Kenya. Look at these champagne glasses, they're just Shit. Champagne glasses Sham carved from Kenya. Carved in Kenya. Carved in Kenya. Carved in okay. Kenya. But these are some of the, I call them the undiscovered secrets of Kenya. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because unless you are really, really looking, and it's the you. Packaging Kenya. Packaging from Kenya. Look how beautiful this yeah. packaging yeah. is. In Maragol, you say what? Yeah. Uh, look, yeah. look at this. Amakore. Amakore, yeah. Yeah. Amakore. Yeah. 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 Amakore. Girigonya. Amakore. Amakore. Girigonya. And of course, we go on. You know, we we sometimes give our designs. This this is the Egyptian um, mm. symbol, very popular with my customers, but made in Kenya. Mm. Look at the elegance of Kenya. Look at how yeah, elegant no. this thing is, you see? Mm -hmm. Elegant. So you know, and no, you can, of course, oh yeah, you can lift. This is just, no, 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 it's okay. Yeah, almost, but that's okay. It's our fault we should make it, not to be okay. My pleasure most of the time when I'm buying is when I'm buying from Kenya. I guess because Kenya is my, um, uh -huh. It's my role. And you, you know, know, by the way, Margaret, mm -hmm. one question people always want to know, they want also to just hear the other side. Just be asking those people, is there a moment they can share when it, they were so low or one of their worst, worst experiences and how did they come out of that experience? Because it can't just be a bed of roses. Oh, it's never a bed of roses yeah. and nobody ever wants to hear a story of a bed of roses <laughs> anyway. Like Alex, I don't know about you, but when it comes to a lot of business people like me, we have fallen. Mm. Yes. And when it comes to falling, God, I have fallen at least twice mm. big. I used, to, I started my business from Kenya by importing a lot of Kyondo a long, long time ago. Being unaware that the market comes and the market goes. I remember this one time just thinking that this thing will never die. I import so much, the market was mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. and I was stuck. You had a stock that was not I had moving. a stock, I had, yes, I had a stock that was not moving. Mm -hmm. Now imagine you've gotten a loan, you have a stock that's not moving, you have so much to do, you have to do something whether you like it or not. Mm -hmm. And the sitting down and the complaining is mm -hmm. not an option. <laughs> Margaret, who traces her journey to the U.S. way back in 1974, has a successful skincare department as well. 
This one here just part of Amazon, order going to Amazon. Our Air Cosmetics, wherever you are, all around the U.S., does not matter, you are going to Florida, go to any beauty supply store, mm -hmm. you have, you'll find it there. You are there. I guarantee mm -hmm. you. This story continues right after our Miles Away segment. Today on Miles Away, we focus on Atlanta City. Atlanta is a tourist paradise with numerous attractions. One such place is the Georgia Aquarium, which happens to be the largest aquarium in the world. The aquarium has a 10 million gallon playground for all types of aquatic animals. The city is also home to the world's most known beverage, Coca-Cola. The city also boasts of being home to the cable news network center, popularly known as CNN. The World Center gives tourists a 15-minute guided walking tour behind the scenes. Martin Luther King Jr. National Historic Site is another place one must visit in Atlanta. It houses the tomb of civil rights icon Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. There is also the Centennial Olympic Park that was created to be a gathering place for the 1996 Summer Olympic Games. And that's miles away. Margaret was born in Madira village, Sabatia constituency, Vihiga County. My history in America has been very long actually. Started in 1974 when I landed here after spending a year in Europe. So, was a student, went to school, finished. I uh, met a young man, moved to Atlanta, Georgia, where I've been residing for about 30 something years. Uh, did my master's here. Both Margaret and her husband, Silas Andega, who hails from Kakamega County, would venture into business later after their studies. Silas, who left Kenya as a chemistry teacher, has a degree in biochemistry while Margaret holds a master's degree in business administration. Uh, like we would say, we need to change. Uh, so many things have changed <laughs> since, yeah. Yeah, so many things. Then there were just very, very few of us. I remember it used to take almost two weeks for me to write my mother letter to, to, for, for it to reach her. I remember those days, uh, we couldn't, the telephone was, even talking on the phone was almost unavailable. Yes, so many things have changed, but what has not changed is her accent. <laughs> you know, sometimes they say you can take the girl out of Maragoli, but you can never take the Maragoli out of her, so I'm a typical. Couldn't get Maragoli out of me. Atlanta is known to be one of the places you will find a huge Kenyan community. I am so, so proud of, of, of what Kenyans are able to do here. So many in that regard, in tech, uh, so many in that regard, doing businesses like me, yes, we are doing, we are doing well. When you come to the U.S., be focused and do not come for the sake of coming, she advises. If you've come here to go to school, go to school. You must have a purpose. And, you know, when we went to school, we went to school to get a good job. Again, things have changed. Try to follow what you love to do when you're going to school because that is what's going to sustain you for a long time. But is the U.S. a land of milk and honey as always described? Yes. <laughs> America is a land of milk and honey. It is. Even with the struggles. But the milk and the honey is not the kind that you are just going to go and plug like a ripe banana. You are hard work one way or the other is going to pay off. And then again, when you come, just go step by step. It may not necessarily be easier. I think I find it a little bit harder for, for, um, for someone who is older than it is for someone who is younger. Why? Because they have responsibilities. They have so much on their mind, you see? Whereas someone who is younger is just maybe help mom a little bit. The Andegas are also in the real estate business, both in the U.S. and in Kenya. Decide where you want to invest. If you want to invest in Kenya, take all your $10, put it in Kenya. And then you just know you're just going to basically sublive, you know, live here on some type of standard because you know where you're going. But in the absence of that, America is a good place to invest too. I've started doing well, 
when I decided first and foremost that America really was my place. Why do I say that? My children were born here. I came here when I was young. I have a home here. I have businesses here. This is the car, the car I have that I drive is here. The streets that I know are over here. Silas and Margaret have three children. One of them, rap musician Malimo Andega, commonly known as Attitude. Back to more lessons on the do's and don'ts in the U.S. Don't over enjoy your beer. You enjoy your beer, you could find yourself just behind bus. That's, that's one, one thing. Um, try to get your, your, your paper straight as soon as you can because it makes you free. It makes you find that job. It makes you not feel inflicted. A simple mistake like failing to pay your bills, be it telephone or electricity, could make your life difficult here, she elaborates, adding that banks scrutinize your credit worthiness thoroughly. These days, when banks know each other, they communicate with each other, where are you going to go? When credit companies communicate with each other, are you going to default American Express in, 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 in Atlanta and they think you're going to get one in Kenya? Finally, our diaspora bite comes right from this one-on-one -on -one interview. Don't just come, oh, because I'm going to make money in America. You may find that you are better off where you are. Why are you coming? Once you understand the reason why you are coming, then you come and you embark on it, things will be better.